Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 934. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about a little bit about the hyperlink feature and then a bunch about the hyperlink function. Hyperlink feature, well, what is a hyperlink? It's we jump to some web address or to another file or even to another location within a workbook. The keyboard shortcut for the feature is Control K. You get to decide existing file or web page. I could pick any one of these files or down here an address. I could type an address. Text to display, you could put whatever you want up there. I'm going to click OK. That's using Control K. Now when I click on it using that finger, it jumps and opens up Major League Baseball. If you want to edit the cell, make sure you see the selection cursor. If you want to do Control K, you're not limited to uh, existing uh, to a web page, you could pick any file, whether it's whatever it is, Word, Document, or Excel. So if I select that, click OK. Now, when I click on that, it will open that file. Another way to do this is to actually type the address. So if I'm typing my address here, watch what happens when I hit Enter. That's called Auto Format. Now, sometimes people like that. Sometimes people do not. Let's see how to turn that off if you don't like it. File options, proofing, autocorrect, and then auto format as you type. When you uncheck that internet and uh, network pass, click OK, click OK, and that will no longer happen. If I type some address here and hit Enter, it's no longer going to auto format. Now, the hyperlink function. Hyperlink feature is great as if you just have a few addresses, but if you have a whole column of addresses or file paths and, and workbooks and Word documents, then using the hyperlink function can be quite handy. Equals HY tab. You just got to put the link location, whether it's a web address or file name, as text, comma, and some friendly name. Control Enter and copy it down. All right, that's beautiful if you have a whole column. It works beautifully, opens that up. Now, you're not limited to text from the cells. You can say equals hyperlink, HY tab, but you better put the address in double quotes so it's considered text, comma, and then the friendly address. I'll just put Major League Baseball. All right, so nothing here, but it works just fine, hyperlink. Uh, now, those are to web addresses. Totally awesome feature. We have these different uh, files in different locations. So let's just use the hyperlink function. And if you leave off the friendly name here, the show name, it will assume the file path or the address, the link, what's called the link location. So Control Enter, double click and send it down. So what's going on here is these two are an Excel and Word document, but they're in the same folder as the open file. So all that's all I have to put is just the file name. When I click, it opens right up. It's not uh, shy. It'll open up Word documents also. Now, if it's in a different location, here's the file, Redline. There's the folder. There's the drive. You simply type it out, and boom, it opens it right up. Now, let's say I want to go to a cell reference on this sheet. So I want to go, I want to link to F14. You put the current workbook name in square brackets and the cell reference, and then boom, it jumps over to F14. If it's on a different sheet, you have to put the file name in square brackets and the sheet name in single apostrophes with an explanation point. That's the syntax for sheet reference and then the cell reference. Now watch, it's going to jump over there. That's a great trick for building a table of contents. We'll actually do that in just a moment. This is not limited to cells like A1 in the current workbook. We can have some other workbook on some other drive. Square brackets around the entire file path, and then the sheet, single apostrophes, explanation point, and the cell reference. This will open up this file and go to B5. There it is, B5. Now notice over here in this workbook, if I highlight this range, there's a defined name. Define names can be used also. There it is. F file path in square brackets. Sh oh, I'm sorry, file path in square brackets, 
sheet name and the define name rad. Boom. That define name can also be used anywhere in this current workbook. Now here's an intriguing one, intriguing one here. We used hyperlink function to jump to a sheet A1. But what if we wanted to build a whole table of contents that would jump to A1 on each one of these sheets? No problem. This is the file path method, but check this out. The other day I was reading a blog at contextures.com. If you have not been to contextures.com, it's one of the true gold mines of Excel information on the internet. Pound sign. You know, help on the hyperlink function. Let me show you a cool trick. I'm going to hit, click in that cell, hit F2. If you click inside the hyperlink, the screen tip, this, for, this um, bold thing, that's a link to help. You could also do F1 and jump to help. This help is absolutely amazing. It goes through and has all sorts of great examples of how to get the hyperlink function, right? Just example after example after example. But I read the, I've read that whole thing before, and I've never seen that pound sign. Let's see how to use the pound sign from uh, this Contextures blog to build a table of contents. Now notice, here's how we did it over here, and it's perfectly fine to do it that way. But let's check this out. We're going to still have to use a similar convention, but we don't have to put the file name in. We'll use the pound sign instead. So equals hy in double quotes. Pound, that says uh, go somewhere in this workbook, and then single apostrophe. Now we need to join that, so I'm going to end double quote, and I'm going to use Shift 7, the ampersand, to join it with the actual uh, worksheet name. Now I have to join that, a third thing I've joined together, double quotes, single apostrophe. Remember, down here we can see week one with a single apostrophe there and there. So that's what we're simulating up here. Then we have to put our explanation point and then cell A1. And double click, close this off, control enter. Double click and send it down. Boom, a table of contents. So now if I click here, it jumps over to week three, cell A1. Click on last, it jumps to last. Now wouldn't it be nice if we had this table of contents if I'm this table of contents here. Anytime we jump somewhere, wouldn't it be nice if there was a link back? Now, we could drill through and create a hyperlink, but check this out. If I have week one selected, I'm holding the shift key and then I'm going to click on last. I've selected them all. If I come here and try to control K or even go to insert, it's all grayed out. So I don't know how to. Uh, drill through and get that hyperlink to work. So I'm going to build a hyperlink here and then use keyboard shortcuts to paste it quickly. Control K. I'm going to type up in the display table of contents. And then down here, I'm going to say not file or web page, place in this document. And then sure enough, I'm it, it knows all the sheet names. I'm going to select cell um, the sheet 934, and by default it's A1. Click OK. Now I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Page Down, Control V, Control Page Down, Control V, Control Page Down, Control V, Control Page Down, and boom. There's probably a better way to do it, but I certainly don't know. Now let's check this out. So we have our table of contents. I click here. I look at what I want. I go back. I click on last, I look at what I want, I go back. All right, so that's a lot about hyperlinks, both the hyperlink feature and the hyperlink function. We'll see you next video.